And welcome back to this new Pizza Raid tutorial. Today we want to create a mystic scene with the help of geometry nodes and cargo. Let's jump right in. Here we are in a fresh blender scene and let's hide our cute for now. And now we want to import our first asset, which is some grass. So let's go to append. And we want to select here now the rocks grass assets here, this blend file. And now we want to go to mesh and select the four grass clump. So let's select these four and press append. And we are having this stuff here in our scene, which is cool. Now let's select those and press M for new collection underscore grass. And now we can bring back our cube here and we want to jump right now into the geometry nodes. And let's make a little bit more room here. I want to make a new one, which is GN grass. Now let's drag and drop our grass collection here inside. And I want to search now for instance on points and we need a grid. Let's put this in the points and this one here in the instance and this here into the geometry. Okay, let's go ahead here with the grid. Let's change here some stuff, which is X to 7.5 by 10 in the Y. And I want to go with 50 by 50 uh, in the vertices. Okay, that looks boring. Uh, let's make it a little bit more interesting. So let's select here separate children and pick instance. That looks a little bit better, but we need more randomness. So for this, <laughs> There is a random value. Let's put this one here first here in the scale. And I want to change this one now here in the min to 0.5, which is the smallest amount. And one is the biggest or the highest amount. Okay, let's go ahead with another random value, Shift and D. But we want to change this now to a vector and bring this to rotation. I just want to change the Z value here in the max. So let's go here with 8.3, but that's up to you which one you like. You can play with the settings. And I want to scale the whole stuff a little bit down. So let's search for transform geometry. Bring this here in between and I want to change the scale now to 0.5 in every axis. Okay, and now we can <laughs> um, bring another randomness stuff here in. So we need a set position node and a random value here again. Put this one here now in the offset. And I want to go here now with 0.4 by 1.5 by 0 and minus 0.1 by 1. And of course, the last thing is zero as well. Okay, that's uh, looking good here. But as you can see, when we're going a little bit here in the details, these things are looking a little bit um, you know, low poly. So let's go back here in the layout mode. And I want to re-enable here the grass. And we can add here some smoothness. So let's go and select the grass, add modifier, and we need a subdivision surface. You can see that the stuff is a little bit smoother. So let's do this for every uh, every grass clump here. Uh, but then you can see that everything looks a little bit like in the low poly look. And to change this, we can uh, make a right click on everything and shade this smooth. So it's very quick. I think that's looking better here right now. Let's re-enable our grass. Okay, and we need a ground. So let's enable here a plane. Let's bring up here this menu by pressing N and we want to change the X and Y dimensions to 12. And I want to change this now here to shade editor and add a new material. And that's the ground. Um, but we want to change this only to black. And let's change the roughness up to one because we don't want to any have any reflections. Go to material preview and we can bring in the asset from cargo so let's open up cargo yeah and what we need is here in right in the models so let's go to models access to free and scroll all the way down to this one here if you don't have this uh, downloaded 
then in the button will you will see uh, download and then you can press import now we can see that the mesh is here in the scene which is cool and it's already textured which is cool as well <laughs> so uh, we don't need to do this yeah now we can go ahead and change the position of our camera and let's do this here right now i want to make a new window which i think is the best way to show both of this rendering and uh, what we are doing so let's press zero now on the num block and i want to go here now into the settings let's select the camera press n to get this menu now let's change this here to minus 0.73 by minus 3 by 0 point or and i want to rotate this to 120 to 0 to minus 11 and we want to change the focal length now to 11 and let's bring in here the viewport display PASP2 and that's all we can go ahead and change to cycles now in GPU compute and let's go to render now we can start changing here the rotation or the position of our arcade first I want to go down here in the children of our empty let's select this one and I want to bring this in the Z value to zero. And now we want to change all the stuff here in the empties. Select this one. And I want to go now in the Z value here to 0.45. Now on the Y rotation to minus 90 by minus 37.8. Let's duplicate this. And if you want to duplicate the whole stuff, you have to select both the mesh and the empty. Let's select this one with shift and then press shift and D. Now we have a second one and can bring this now to a, another position. So let's go here with minus 1.56 by minus 0.2 and 2.38 in the Z value. And let's go with 98.1 <laughs> by minus 130 by minus 44.2. Yeah, the last arcade, let's duplicate this one here again. Shift and D and keep in mind, really important that you select only the empty here. So this one, let's go here now with 2.05 by minus 0.27 by 2.4. And let's rotate to 53.2 by 23.9 by 31.8. Now the arcades are in the right position uh, let's bring a little bit more depth here in the scene and for this we want to use here the landscape. If you don't have uh, this here in the scene you can go to edit preferences and search for landscape and enable here the ANT, lash, ANT landscape. So let's bring in this one here. Yeah, Let's bring back here our menu and I want to scale this a little bit up so let's press S. I want to bring this in the X value to something like 8.90 or, or something like this, 8.89, that's okay. Let's push this a little bit back to minus 1.7 by 9.8. And I want to scale this a little bit here in the height. So let's go with 2.24. Yeah, let's duplicate this one again, Shift and D. Let's go with 10 by 8.4. By zero and we need another one which is shift and D again 9.8 by 0.7 by zero and I want to rotate this to minus 90 in the Z and bring down the Z scale to 1.24 and let's duplicate this one again the last time and I want to bring this now to minus 5.8 by 6 by zero 90 degrees is okay and I want to scale this down here now to 1.04 okay i think that's everything for the scene let's uh, go ahead here with the arcades i want to select them and we have to find here over the right now the screen material let's select this one now i want to just increase here now the uh, emission strength from 5 to 20 and we can go ahead now and bring in here some fog so let's create a new cube and let's scale this one now to 34 in every axis. Now we need a new material, material 
fork and we can delete the Prisville BSDF by pressing X on that search shift A for a volumetric scatter and bring this one here into the volume. Yeah, we want to make some changes here right now. So let's make this white a little bit grayish and now we can change the density to 0.5 and the anisotropy to 0.75. Let's change here the environment color to black. And I want to change here the in the render settings. Uh, let's search here for tree. And I want to disable the light tree. Because for me, it's a little bit faster without this one. Let's delete our light here for now. Everything is black right now. And because we are increased here, the emission, we can see that uh, the screens are lighting up a little bit the scene. But I want to have a cool um, backlight here right now. So to do this, we need another light. Press Shift A and light, and we want to go to a sun. And for this sun, I want to use here a greenish color. So let's go into the settings, change the color to something greenish or to this hex code here. I want to increase the strength to two and change the angle down to zero. And let's go here now into the rotation. And we want to change the rotation here now to 53.1 by minus 81.2 by minus 169. So now we are having here a little bit backlight. I think we need a little bit more light here for our arcades. So let's do this really quick. Let's add a new light, which is an area light. And I want to change this now to something pinkish. So let's go into the settings and the hex color. I want to increase this power to 25. Let's bring this now to a rectangle. And I want to change this now to 0 0.58 by 0.47. Yeah, and now we're having some weird position and rotations here again. So <laughs> let's go here with minus 0 0.3 by 0.28 by 0.47 and I want to bring this now here into the position in front of the screens as you can see here. So let's rotate this a little bit more to the position here, minus 90, 0 and minus 54.6. This fits here now in front of our first arcade. Let's duplicate this one again. We want to use here Alt and D because now they are linked and when we are changing the color in one light, it will change in every light. So we have a little bit easier control over the lights. So let's go with the second one, uh, which is 2.3 by minus 0.4 by 2.65. <laughs> and we can see that we are going here in the upper one, in the right upper one. And let's change this now to minus 36.7 by minus 47.2 by minus 30. And now the last one. Believe me, if you want to make this by hand, <laughs> that's a little bit pain. But yeah, I want to make this easy for you. So uh, let's go with minus 1.87 by minus 0.48 by 2.35. 170 in the X, 3 in the Y, and minus 149 in the Z. And now we can go ahead and change here the contrast a little bit. So let's go here to color management. I like to go here with a very high or high contrast, but as always, that's up to you. Let's animate here the camera. Let's change this one here now to timeline. I want to make here the first keyframe. Let's go here into this settings and Make a keyframe here on the Y to minus three. Yeah, and let's go to frame 250 and change this one here now to minus 2.3 and make a new keyframe. Let's press A here in the timeline. Let's press A and then interpolation mode to linear uh, because I don't want to have an ease here in the keyframes. So everything is uh, linear now. Now let's go back to keyframe one and I want to change here now the focal length of the camera and set a new keyframe and go back to 250 and change this one to seven. Make another keyframe, press A again and then interpolation mode to linear. And now we're having here a cool camera transition. Yeah, and if you want to render this one out, I turned down here this maximum samples to 256. Yeah, I leave everything like it is. 
Uh, I didn't use a denoise and that's it for uh, this scene. That was this tutorial and if you want to know how to make content for the arcade screen, check out this tutorial here where I'm showing how to make a model combat like scene. If you want to see more stuff like that, check out and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support me, check out my Blender or Gumroad page. See you there and bye.